What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. We just pulled up to the spot. Super windy, uh, super gloomy this morning. Looks like it's about to rain honestly, but you know, we got a whole bunch of uh, Mahara in the bucket. So we're gonna use them up, try to target mangrove snapper and whatever bites. Let's take a look at the Mahara we got in the bucket here. That's a lot of bait right there. All right, let's go get the rod, get rigged up and cast the first bait out there. Should be one right there. Hopefully. Sometimes, you know, these these fish will come out for it. Ooh, that's a good bite right there. There's one. That'd be small. Chunky. Chunky little 10 incher. Oh yeah, if you're dead or alive, these fish are still chewing. Oh yeah, no way, this guy literally pulled drag. Man, these, these fish, they're not all that big, but these fish are fat. Let's see if we can get something bigger. Ah, a lot of small ones. I know, they hit like crazy because <laughs> they're fat. That might be a keeper right there. Yeah, they're, they're hitting over there too. All right, here we go. Freshie going down. Should be a good one right here. I just made my way back to the spot where we stopped at this morning. Um, you know, this morning was super slow. I was drifting the bait around for probably 15 minutes and I didn't get a single bite. So we can try again now. The last spot was producing fish, but there were a lot of small ones. I've caught some pretty decent sized mangrove snapper at the last spot, but you know, I think this spot here has potential. Cause I fished here in the past and I've got, I've got some really good ones. Let's see, a lot of grouper mixed in too as well. But we're looking for mangrove snapper. Oh, it's a good hit right there. Felt like a bite at least. Take a fish. There it is, little guy, little dude. Let's see if we can get a keeper. We've been pretty much spot hopping all day, trying to find these uh, mangrove snapper. Um, it's been tough. It's been tough. This is gonna be the last spot right here. I have a few bait left in the bucket, so let's see if we can um, get some decent mangrove snapper with them here. There we go. That's a better one. Better fish for sure there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. That's a solid mangrove snapper. Fat. Jeez, man, look how fat this guy is. Oh my God. I mean, he's not all that long, but look at the stomach. We're gonna let this guy go. We'll let him go. That is a chunky one there. Chunky one for sure. All right, that's a big one. Probably 11, 11 and a half, maybe 12 inches. But look at the stomach on him. Fat one. See you, dude. Catch and release, baby. You know, sometimes you just gotta do a catch and release episode. It's not always about, you know, keeping them. At least for me. Let's see if we can get another good one here. Oh yeah. That's another good one there. What is this here? 
Oh yeah, another good mango snapper. Huh. Not a keeper actually. Little guy. Let's even get a, a bigger, bigger mango right here. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. Look at that, guys. Man. That is a fat one right there, man. That is a solid mang inshore mangrove snapper right there. Chunky. Chunky guy. Solid. That is definitely the biggest one of the day right there. Let's put him back in the water. See it. Easily, easily 12 and a half, 13 inches right there. Here we go. Oh, that's right underneath that, uh, that dock. Should be a good bite here. That's a good one there. It is not a good one. Tiny. Let's see if we can get something bigger. Hit that pinfish. Oh, he took it. No way, bro. Oh my goodness. He took the pinfish and broke me off immediately. We're gonna need to get more uh, more bait and I'm gonna have to step up the leader to like probably 30. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Just got on the uh, Fort DeSoto Bay Pier and I'm seeing a whole bunch of snook right here. Um, main target species gonna have to be snook but we'll take anything that bites. We might target mangrove snapper later in the day as well but for right now, I'm locked in on uh, snook fishing. <laughs> Well, they say there's, there's always a first for everything. Look what I got in the net. <laughs> a little flatty. I was <laughs> not expecting to get this. You know, out here looking for bait and I got a baby flounder in the cast net. Insane. Look at him. Let's put him back. There it is. Oh yeah. Finally, finally got one to bite, man. Not bad. Not bad at all right there. Oh yeah. Beach, beach. beach snook right there. Not all that big, but you know. No. Fishing? no. No, I was just drifting bait underneath. What are you fishing with? See ya. Um, Shrimp? Sure. Greenback? Uh, Mahara. All right, first fish of the morning, man. I mean, first bite got broke off immediately on the pinfish. Definitely a bigger size fish, but I'm glad that, you know, I was able to get fish on camera. I mean, we've been drifting bait around for a couple of hours and no bites. I mean, we were getting bites, but couldn't get fish up here. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and drift some more bait down. I mean, it's slack tide right now, and they're, they're, I guess they're still chewing. Just gotta, just gotta drift it to them the right way, I guess. I don't know. It's tough, tough bite this morning. Messing around with the mangrove snapper now. Snook, uh, they, they come and go, so we're gonna give it time. Hopefully they start schooling up again at the, uh, the beginning of the pier there. In the meantime, we're gonna see if we can get some keeper mangrove snapper. There are some pretty decent sized ones down here. Got plenty of bait for the day, so. That's a good snapper there. <laughs> That's a keeper.
That is definitely a keeper, 10 inches. Get you one of these, man. The hooker. There's drifting uh, big mahara around. I didn't think I was gonna catch a trout here. Oh, there's a whole bunch of mangrove snapper down there. Some big ones too, but that's a good sized trout. Solid trout right there. Hold on guy, I'll let you go. One second. Took the mahara. Look at him. Fatty. Let's put him back. See ya. Dude, that guy came out of nowhere and took that mahara. Big bait, man. Just never know, big bait. Start drifting big bait around, you might get big fish. I was drifting around the smaller mahara and they, they like, they were not interested. Or at least that trout was not interested. But let's put another good size mahara down there again. See if we can get another quality size fish, maybe bigger, bigger mangrove snapper. All right, let's drift this big mahara down the pilings here. Let's see if the snapper, let's see if we can get big snapper on this bigger, bigger size mahara. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. That's a good one there. Oh yeah. That's a good snapper right there, man. Took the bigger, bigger mahara. Dang. Good eating size right there. But, let's send him back. Tough bite. The tide is uh, coming into slack now, so, you know, the snook have been scattered out. I mean, every 20 to 30 minutes, you'll see one, maybe two, um, upper 20 inch snook, but it's been slow. So we're gonna call it a day and probably come back out here again next week. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.